Okay, Dina, Brian, welcome to Sun City. Top seed, uh, one through round one. How are you feeling about your game? Feeling good. Um, my first game here, playing altitude in South Africa. Um, hit a lot of balls, uh, served well, hitting my back and well, so I'm feeling good going into the next round. Um, very pleased with the way I played today. A lot of guys that don't understand, but with you playing around the tour, you come back, altitude's always an effect of whether you grew up it or not. Uh, it's quite high up here, huh? It's high. Um, you know, a lot of places in the world where it is this high, they use uh, pressureless balls, you know, so it's a lot slower. But um, even though we grew up here, or at least I did, uh, it still takes some adjusting when I'm playing most of uh, my matches overseas, you know, in uh, sea level. But it still give, gives me an advantage over uh, people who aren't used to it. Um, but playing against fellow South Africans, it's tough. The future circuit is an important stepping stone for any pro. You just about move out of that and go more the challenger circuit. How important is South Africa hosting futures tournaments? I can't even tell you how important. It's a, it's a big one. We need as many as possible to really get our players to um, you know see how, see the level that they need to get to and get the points to help them play into you know tournaments all around the world. Um, people from overseas come over here to play these tournaments and that gives our players you know better matches, more exposure and like I said just getting used to the level that they need to be competing at to you know, make a decent living out there. This uh, Futures uh, tournament is pretty strong, especially from a South African point of view, you're the top seed. Any pressure? Uh, no, nah, no pressure. I just go out there and play my best. Um, there's a lot of good players. Um, all of our top boys are here, which is nice to see actually. You know, um, It's very nice to see that everyone came back to play him. And um, you know, we all uh, are good friends. And we go out there and try to beat one another and have a beer afterwards. Okay, you talk about a beer. I thought you were a rum boy. I am a rum boy. I'll have a rum and they'll have a beer. <laughs> just, uh, Dean, just for those people that are watching this, tell us more about the Dean O'Brien off the court. Uh, I like to have fun. You know, I train hard, um, have a lot of fun with my friends, enjoy a couple of beers with my dad. Um, just light-hearted, fun guy. And tell me about your game. What do you think your strengths are and what are the, the weaknesses you're working on? I um, don't feel like I've got any real weaknesses. Uh, everything still needs to get, you know, everything needs to just get a little bit bigger, a little bit better. Uh, I've been putting in a lot of work on my serve and on my uh, volley game. Um, so hopefully they can help me this week. And uh, if you look at the pro circuit and you look at any players, are there any there that uh, inspire you and why? Always been the b a big fan of Nadal just because, uh, you know, he's, he's a big fighter. I love the way he uh, prepares for matches. I love the way he um, talks about his opponents, the way he's off the court. Um, I think he's an unbelievable role model for anyone. And if Dean O'Brien wasn't a tennis player, what would he be? A golfer, without a doubt. <laughs> what, what, what handicap do you play off? I play off about a 10, and, but I started when I was really young, but it was always tennis. It was always tennis. Um, I played both of them right when I was five, I started, and it was just always tennis. But I really do love golf, and I'll definitely be playing on this course uh, throughout the week. Tell me, uh, inspirational-wise, in your life, who, who do you, who, who's been pretty solid in, 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 in the shaping you as a person and, and career? Um, I guess as cliche as it sounds, it's definitely my parents. Um, they brought me up, I believe, very well, ethically and morally. Um, um, so yeah, without a doubt, my parents.